Hey guys, Zach here at the Path Bike Shop. Today I'm here with Brian and we're taking a look at something a little weird, a little out of the ordinary for us. <laughs> um, I don't know whether to call this thing a mountain bike, a road bike. What is this thing? What are we looking at? It's a Kona Sutra. It's a dirt road bike. Dirt road bike. All right. <laughs> we can call it that. <laughs> a little bit of both all over on this thing. What have you done to this thing so far since you've had it? It's a little of everything. Um, yeah, like I said, the frame's a 2021 Kona Sutra. Um, the fork is a Whiskey MCX uh, that just happened to be the right like axle to crown and rake for this frame and still fits a pretty huge tire. The wheels I laced up, they're uh, DT350 hubs on Crank Brothers Synthesis XCT rims. Finally found some Apex uh, AXS shifters with hydraulic brakes, which that was the main thing that I was waiting for to get this thing just perfect. Those ones are pretty good value, aren't they? They in, are. In terms of like most of the Axis lineup, they're pretty relatively Yeah, super cheap. affordable and they work oh, just yeah. as good as anything else and the brakes feel awesome. Uh, drivetrain's a 38 tooth oval absolute black ring and a 10 to 52 SRAM cassette. Sweet. And then um, the AXS reverb as well, uh, which is actuated by the same buttons that you shift the drivetrain with, which is pretty cool and pretty intuitive once you get used to it. I've got the widest carbon drop bars I could find, which are salsa, uh, hold on. They're cow chippers. Cow chippers, yeah. That's what they're called. Uh, I, I think these things are wider than the first mountain bike I was riding. This is probably. I think they're like riding 52 like that. or 56. <laughs> they're wide. They're awesome. Um, and then some really old uh, SRAM carbon cranks that I'm keeping alive. <laughs> and uh, a frame pump off of our 1991 Ibis tandem. Awesome. Keep it classic on yeah. that. What would you say is one of the main reasons that you specifically built up uh, a Sutra as opposed to some of the other options out there from Giant, Salsa, and some of the other brands? Uh, so I went with the Sutra because it seemed at the time like it was kind of the only thing available that had tire clearance that I was looking for, um, geometry that I was pretty confident would be capable off-road, um, and could still run like a full height dropper post. Those were kind of the main, the main three drivers for me. What size tires do you have on here right now? It's a two four front and a two two rear. I have stuffed a two six up front and a two four in the back, and that works just fine too. Uh, but this is sort of a good all around go anywhere combo. A good middle ground. Yeah. Awesome. What type of rider would you say is the best candidate for a bike like this, or just the Sutra line in general? Uh, I would say it's for. Like anyone who wants to be able to ride from home, um, you know, maybe some paved roads or dirt roads to get to where you're going and kind of whatever, you know, once you're there, wherever you're going, whatever single track you feel comfortable riding on a bike like this. And they're surprisingly pretty capable. Um, yeah, and you go a little slower than you would on a suspension bike, but um, it's still You'll pretty still capable. Get, yeah. Still get there nonetheless. Yeah. Awesome. If someone at home watching this video was looking to build up something similar, maybe not this frame specifically, but overall a similar aggressive style drop bar, now that you've built this one, you've got some time on it, do you have any advice or tips that you could give to someone like that looking to build something similar? Yeah. Yeah, I would say identifying uh, kind of the must-haves for you and your riding style are probably the main, the main thing to figure out first and then go from there. Uh, for me, that was having clearance for big tires, like a 2.4 in the back and a 38 or 40 teeth chainring up front, which really narrows down your options. Uh, if you think you're going to be spending more time on pavement, like you know half the time or more, uh, you might consider a 2 by, uh, which this frame will not run. It's one by specific. Uh, so if you think you are going to spend a lot of time on the road, maybe like 90% of the time and 10% on dirt, then Something that's two by capable might be a better bet, uh, but for me, this this package really works. Uh, kind of checked all the boxes. Um, yeah, it definitely sounds like it's basically exactly what you wanted, but depending yeah. on someone's goals with what how they're really going to be riding that bike, I guess it could change the frame setup they're going to be using. Yeah, uh, I mean, there's a lot of great gravel bikes out there, 
most of them uh, most of them don't have the tire clearance that this one has, and if they do, they don't have the chainring clearance. Um, so it that's kind of what makes this one pretty unique. It seems like there's usually a trade-off there between the two, but this is one of the few frames that offers both, which was perfect for you. Yeah, that was kind of the, the main driver for me. Awesome. If you're interested in picking one of these up for yourself, we do have quite a few of them in stock right now. Frame sets and completes. Frame sets we can ship anywhere in the country. Completes get picked up in store. Go ahead and check these out online on our website, pathbikeshop.com. There's a ton more stuff we have listed on there if you're interested in similar products as well. Follow us on all the socials, Instagram, Facebook, whatnot. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you guys next time.